this week, um, well, my dear friend Federico asked me to make a video um, taking, uh, this has to do with character transformation, the soul mirror, taking a negative character item, trait, and transforming it from beginning to end, essentially the whole process that I um, go through with a char negative character trait. So, <clears throat> I'm going to start with really the, the first character trait that I worked with in, through initiation into Hermetics. It was for me a major character trait, a negative character trait. Now this is almost 40 years ago, 38 years ago to be exact. Um, so I have some difficulty <laughs> remembering uh, that state of mind with the negative character trait in full force. Um, but I'll, I'll try to describe it to you. Um, basically it came down to I was judgmental of other people all the time. All the time I was making these judgments about people, about how they felt, about their actions, etc. Just always, you know, just like the first thing that come up for me is this judgmental state of mind and that, that didn't feel good at all um, or feel right it just <clears throat> was something I needed to change early on um, in my work so I labeled this trait judgmentalism being judgmental all the time and I actually attributed it to the air element. In my list, it was number one, top of the list. Um, so, setting out to work with this negative trait, I first thing I designed was uh, an affirmation to be used uh, to work in changing this trait. And that was, I am non judgmental. So I started with that, you know, statement upon waking up and just before going to sleep, I impregnated the uh, accumulations of vital energy with it. I thought of it every time I ate food, you know, every time I would do breathing exercises, every time I washed my hands, every time I bathed. Uh, every bit of water that I was consuming, every liquid that I was consuming, etc. Just started, you know, religiously with that statement. But the main thing was meditations on the character trait. I needed to penetrate deeper into this character trait because being judgmental felt like a, a symptom of something not you know, a, a causal thing. I needed to get down to the root cause of this character trait. So I devoted all of my meditations to it. I would think about it during the day. You know, it wasn't just during the, the periods of doing my Barden meditations. It was, you know, I really committed myself to, change, to figuring this out to figuring this out. I'd always had an analytical mind, so I set my analytical mind to figuring this thing out. Um, fairly early in that process, I realized that it was a defense mechanism. That it was judging others before anybody had a chance to judge me, you know? It was like, I don't want anybody judging me, so I'm going to judge you first. So there was this defense mechanism in there. Um, it also, um, you know, I could judge very accurately whether someone was a threat. 
And that was important in my childhood. Okay? <clears throat> so, that was the first layer. This is a defense mechanism from my early childhood. <clears throat> this feeling of being judged negatively from early childhood. Um, this was my response to that, my taking some of my power in that dynamic of being judged all the time, or at least what I sensed as being judged all the time, <clears throat> so that I, you know, was sort of taking control of the situation. So, <clears throat> I needed to find... <clears throat> other ways of empowering myself in the face of judgment. I needed to look at validating myself, finding that validation internally, because that's what this dynamic really was about, self-valuing, you know, finding validation for my thoughts, for my actions, for my way of being. Um, so, that was something to work on, trying to validate, finding validation for myself in other ways than devaluing other people to achieve that sense of personal value. Okay, so, I began to look at myself and my actions and finding the value in them for myself. And that took me a long way. That was a big shift in working with my judgmentalism. Um, it made it easier to be non-judgmental with others um, because I wasn't needing that avenue of finding my own value, okay? But that wasn't the end of it. That wasn't the root of what was going on here. You know, I could see from my early childhood the point at which this really began, but there was something more in there. And eventually, with more and more meditation on this issue, I discovered that at its root was that I have always, since my earliest memories, my earliest awareness, I have always been able to look into people, to see the inside of people, their motivations, in many cases their actual thoughts. But I could see experiences, I could see essentially the wound in every person. And so there is a fine line for me between this perception of someone's interior and what they project. Okay? Um, the judgments that they make of me, I could see those inside of that person or every person and see them forming, and see the reason that those were their judgments of me. You know, what part of me touched something inside of them to generate that specific judgment? And the uh, thing is, we all, <coughs> excuse me, we all do that constantly. It's part of the human psyche. 
and the part of self-preservation to make these judgments about everything that we encounter. But I was seeing that. I was seeing that process in other people and really taking it very personally, mostly because these attitudes were formed when I was very young. I didn't have the experience of life to learn not to take it personally, but to just accept it in other people as well as myself. See, for me, I had not been aware of these perceptions, of the nature of the perceptions, they just were, you know, without even recognizing that that is what I was doing. Um, they became for me judgments, all about judgments. Um, both the judgment of others and my own judgment in defense. Um, so, what this was about really was not judgment, but perception. And the recognition that I perceived this about other people, about other things, other creatures. That really made all the difference. Because now it wasn't about, my affirmation wasn't, I am non-judgmental. It was simply, I perceive. And that focused me into the perception without judgment. The perception with acceptance. And that was what it was all about. Perceiving with acceptance. That's what it was about for me. It wasn't about the fact that I was being judgmental. That was a symptom of my not perceiving with acceptance. And hey, I'm an adult now. You know, I'm smart enough. I'm bright enough. I, you know, I know enough about life at this stage in my sort of mid to late 20s. I had been through enough at that point to be able to accept things in other people that I might have trouble accepting in myself or that I didn't particularly like, but that's different than acceptance. So for me, it became a very liberating experience. I learned so much about myself and specifically about my faculties of perception. It really opened the door to me pursuing perception as a main factor in my initiation, honing my powers of perception, which to me is what so much of uh, a magic and initiation is about, is about developing our powers of perception. So this really opened the door for me, and I realized that I could perceive this in other people. And so I could now focus on honing that power of perception that I possessed already. And that just you know, opened me up to this whole additional journey. And after a time, devoting my whole self to transforming this character trait of being judgmental about everything, <laughs> um, I was able to transform it and transform it 
fairly quickly, it seemed to me, in a matter of, oh, maybe eight months. Eight months to a year later, I was totally over any feeling of judgmentalism. Um, and, man, my power of perceiving how I could perceive other people and other creatures uh, just expanded exponentially um, and became, you know, uh, an asset from this negative character trait. It is transformed into this asset, this power that I have, this gift that I have, which for so much, well, for all of my life to that point, had been something that was a negative character trait. And I found over time in working with these other character traits, uh, man, dealing with this character trait, the being such a large character trait, impacted the whole of my negative mirror and my positive mirror, you know, it just impacted everything, put everything else in this other perspective and made what seemed like big things into child's play, you know? The whole process was so easy, ultimately, all it took was some dedication. You know, I had committed myself to making this change, period. And I didn't stop. I didn't weaken in that process. I maintained it as a focus. It's very easy to do. You know, just bring everything, everything I was learning, focus it on this one transformation. And then I maintained that f habit of focusing on, you know, further transformations of my character, one by one. And each character trait that I was able to transform likewise impacted the whole mirror. And suddenly, all these little traits that I had written down were disappearing. You know, because they were related in really interesting ways to each of these major traits that I was uh, conquering, you know, that I was transforming. One by one, you know, and then handfuls by handfuls. It was really a very uh, empowering process. I mean, that was and really one of the most empowering things about the early steps of the initiation was, holy shit, man, I actually made these changes in myself, and they were changes that stuck. You know, these aren't things that come and go. You know, the character comes and goes, there's always new issues to add to the black mirror, as it were. You know, the character is always changing and evolving. But it's something that is in my control. You know, plainly put, it's something that I determine. It's not something that just forms by itself, you know, the, the <laughs> lashes of fortune make a character, you know, to a certain extent that's true, but it's my choice to be who I am. And that's what the character transformation work is all about. You get to decide who you are. And that is whew, an empowering place.
place to be an exciting work. You know, I've always found the character transformation work to be exciting and enjoyable. You know, um, we sort of dread it as we're making our negative mirrors, like, oh my God, I'm just such an awful fucking person, you know. But it's not like that at all. You know, these are just layers of yourself that you have to unpeel to reveal the jewel within, okay? So, more power to you. That's it this time. See you again. Bye-bye.